In the days leading up to the January 6th riot, Trump supporters conducted a series of impromptu parades around the Capitol building that they called the Jericho Marches. The name, of course, comes from the book of Joshua, where Joshua's army circles the city every day for seven days. And in the story, on the seventh day, they blow their trumpets, the walls of the city come crashing down, the army invades, and they murder everybody who isn't in Rahab's house. The symbolism could not have been clearer. They intended to breach the walls of Congress, invade, and kill their enemies. And they were certain, absolutely positive, that God was on their side. And just in case that wasn't clear to everybody, they spent these marches singing hymns, waving explicitly Christian banners, and joining in prayer. And these Christian flags, Christian slogans, and Christian prayers followed the rioters all the way to the Capitol building and then into the Capitol building. They famously joined in prayer on the floor of the Senate with national media capturing every second of it. The riot was so Christian in nature that you could damn near name Jesus as an accomplice. That was unquestionably an act of Christian terrorism. And yet, in the behemoth 845-page report that the January 6th committee released last Thursday, those two words never show up next to each other, Christian and terrorism. The term Christian nationalism only comes up once, and even then it's not even being presented as a reason or a justification for the riot. It's just like mentioned tangentially as something connected to one of the terrorists. And to be clear, on January 6th of last year, Christian terrorists marched on the Capitol, beat up the police officers guarding it, breached the security, and got people killed in an explicitly stated effort to overthrow our elected government and replace it with a theocratically installed one. That's what happened. But you could read through the entire fucking report and never know that. And that's a problem, not just for the historians of the future who are trying to understand this thing, but for the lawmakers and enforcers of the present who want to prevent it from happening again. Because if we can't name the fucking problem, we can't study the problem. And if we can't study the problem, we sure as hell can't fucking solve it. And look, you know, I, I, I get accused unfairly in my opinion, but still, I get accused sometimes of blaming everything on religion, even when there's no genuine fault or, or when there's only a tenuous connection. So let me be super clear that I'm far from the only person that's flabbergasted by the absence of Christian nationalism from this fucking report. A lot of people are making noise about this shit, including a few of the committee members and notably a bunch of Christian fucking leaders. Reverend Nathan Emsall, who, who has a group called Faithful America, released a statement on the report that read in part, quote, the January 6th committee only giving passing mention to the pivotal role of Christian nationalism in its final report is a missed opportunity to fully understand what led to the violence at the Capitol and to prevent future political violence, end quote. Hell, even the experts cited in the report are surprised by this shit. Uh, there's a dude named Peter Mansow, a historian and the director of the Smithsonian National Museum of American History Center for the Understanding of Religion in American History. Jesus, I don't imagine his business card folds out or has a poll tab to get all of that in. Anyway, so the report cites heavily from an op-ed that he published in the Washington Post. Now, that op-ed was all about the various religious motivations underpinning the riot, but those quotes are curiously absent from the final report. Mansell himself says the report, quote, may prove a disservice to history, end quote, in its failure to focus on the role of Christian nationalism. Now, now we don't know exactly why the report sidesteps this important issue to such a blatant degree, but we have a pretty good idea, right? A, a WAPO article about the drafting of the document quotes a spokesperson for Liz Cheney saying that she wouldn't sign on to any narrative that, quote, suggests that every American who believes God has blessed America is a white supremacist, end quote. Mansell alluded to as much in his tweet where he suggested that the committee was trying to avoid the January 6th committee as going after Christianity talking point. But what kind of admission of defeat is that? Right? We're so scared of how they'll react to the truth that we're afraid to say it out loud. Like, if that's the case, haven't and, and apologies for resurrecting this tired ass phrase. But if that's the case, haven't the terrorists already won? Look, we have no fucking problem as a nation labeling Islamic terrorism as such. And, and we managed to do it while simultaneously recognizing that that doesn't mean every Muslim is a terrorist, NYPD notwithstanding. But the timidity with which the January 6th committee report treats the Christian roots of this insurrection is all the evidence you really need that the Christians were trying to take over a government that they already control. 